So in the background there is Nigel from James Troop vocalising with Aroha just out of sight and uh, Haim and Minnie were quite interested as to what's going on. Well, I'm sure you all remember little Terry. She arrived here around about the 8th of November, was uh, two to three weeks of age. Um, she was uh, found being sold on the side of the road, and fortunately the people managed to get hold of her. Um, they took her through to um, Chimp Eden in Elspreet, and uh, we were contacted there to go and collect her. And uh, so now little Terry is uh, ready to find a foster mom which is great and you can see um, how much more confidence uh, this little one is starting to explore the enclosure see where everything is another interesting point is if you have a look at uh, you can see there's like a kind of protrusion and this is why people find it very difficult to tell between male and female um, baby monkeys because they all seem to look um, like little males until you do a proper inspection or you're a little bit more experienced you can pick up uh, the difference between the two of them sometimes it is very very difficult uh, it's not an easy thing to tell especially in the uh, the very very young ones but uh, terry is doing well i believe she has got a friend on the other side um, as well that she was with uh, previously i think it was oswald so she did spend a bit of time with oswald so she does know the monkeys in the intricate next door um, but so far she's uh, doing very, very well, settling in nicely, um, finding her way there, uh, around the intra cage, which is, which is very, very important. Well, the other little one uh, accompanying Terry in the intro cage is uh, a little male CT. Um, he arrived in uh, in December time. Um, was also about four to five weeks of age. Uh, apparently, uh, he was found in a garden alone. Um, we're not too sure what happened to his mom. She might have been injured in a car accident, as this little one did have several uh, little cuts and bruises on his on his little body. Um, it was kept by the people who found him for about a month or so. Uh, unfortunately, they put a little diaper on him, which caused uh, him to get uh, quite severe nappy rash. And uh, also, I don't know what milk they were feeding him on, but he was very, very bloated when he came here. So we had to like get his diet and everything right. But at the moment you can see they're quite content exploring their new environment, uh, getting used to everything and chewing on all the, the little things they haven't seen before. So uh, hopefully it's not going to take too long before they uh, get used to the little feeding cage and we can let uh, a mom in and uh, try get these little ones um, out into a nice natural enclosure as soon as possible. I'm not too sure if some of you still remember little Gimli. He came here in uh, 2020 of February as a very, very depressed little orphan. 
Uh, we really battled to get him out of his depression. But uh, just look at the change in this little guy. He's out in his enclosure, he's been reintroduced, he's had a mom, uh, and he's now part of the troop. And, and what a difference in this little guy. Here's Fred. You might be able to see that some of his hair has been growing back. He has a uh, lung condition. Um, the vet suspected possibly lung cancer, but you can see that his hair is starting to grow back, which is great. And he's loving his grass, so we'll leave him to it. Little Yolanda with uh, a bit of time out from uh, her bandage. I'm um, still not really using her arm, uh, but now and again we see a little bit of movement in the hand, which is good. And uh, of course, taking her outside um, is also kind of important just to get a little bit of sun and get the feel of everything that's going on. And I think she really and truly does enjoy that. Um, natural forage have sort of been given there, which is some of the local grasses. Uh, which she starts enjoying and chomping quite vigorously. So uh, she is coming on slowly. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. Uh, but I don't think she's going to get complete movement in that arm again. But at least it'll be functional. And I think uh, that's really the most important thing. Bath. Probably not your first bath, let's be honest. Bath time is also quite a major event in Disneyland, nice. and uh, this is little Momo getting all cleaned up. This tail is very interesting. Yes, it is. Good you might be able to submerge his butt if he lets you. Yeah. Feels nice, doesn't it? Oh gosh, is that Terry trying to drink? <laughs> so it's Terry. Not that one. Um, it's not that we try and bath these little guys um, every single day because it's not really that good for them. Um, it's just because they get kept together in a in a small environment um, that they get covered in in feces, and it's mainly that that we're really trying to trying to remove. Um, monkeys do have like natural oils on their on their fur that um, helps to repel water and things like this when they're out in the bush. So you don't want to really destroy um, the build-up of that on these little guys. So. Terry, let's have a cuddle. She liked her bath so much, she wanted to go again. Oh, show off that tummy and that tummy. A bath is no? necessary now and again, but as I said, it's basically just to make sure we're getting uh, the little bits of feces and things like this off them. So it's not like a major soapy thing, it's just a quick little rinse, um, clean them up, and then of you course let them go again. Oh, she's eyeing up that water again. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Terry. <laughs> just this one. Oh, this one's just water. Just rinse you off. All right. Almost done. There you go. Almost. Okay. You want to go again, Minnie? <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on, Papa. You show that tummy again. Oh, missed a bit on your neck. I don't know how you get put on your neck, boy. And you'll be on the head.
This is Linda. Linda came in yesterday from Johannesburg Wildlife Vets. Um, she came in very wild and unable to drink milk. She's about five to six weeks old and she's so much fun. We've been playing all morning and we've been drinking our banana mush. So because she's not been drinking milk as we would normally give through a bottle or a syringe or something, um, we are giving her a nice mixture of milk and banana and she's doing so well on it. We like belly scratches. Uh, quite adept at climbing already, aren't we Linda? She's quite calm, probably because she's been with humans already for about a week or so, so no crying as of yet. Just fun and play and exploring. Let's try and see if we can get a play face out of her, hey? <laughs> Maybe there it is. There it is. Hi. Oh, jump. Oh, good, good. That's Johan's at the door, and that's Cozzy sat behind. Cozzy's a little unsure, but he's also a little unwell. The camera shakes are Finley, because he's tired, but won't go sit by the door, but he won't go to sleep. <laughs> there you are, there's Finley. Thank you very much. Jan's with some scrow mums, and that's Finley. Jans is very keen to get mum. Finley is just happy to be anywhere somebody else is. <laughs> Human or primate. Um, Jans is at the fence a lot, getting lots of grooms as you can see here. Often vocalises and they come over. They like to touch him through the fence. He really knows how to play the field as are Jans. <laughs> Females don't really like it when I touch the babies. They vocalise quite a bit, but that's a good thing. Shows that they want the babies. There's Finley. Looking cute as ever. Yarns. 
found himself another mum. Got Zadie and Terry fighting on that branch to the right. You've got Minnie Max with little shaved leggy and Lord knows what. You've got Claudette Marie just by that orange uh, blanket and then just crossed over to join Terry and uh, Sadie was Heim. We've just had three hours of me being outnumbered by this crazy bunch. That's five to one. <laughs> Trying to get everybody fed. Um, and keep track of how much they've drank. And keep track of who's urinated and who's pooped. It's been a challenge. But we got there. Uh, biggest help to a primate carer is when all of them go to sleep all at the same time. <laughs> We had that earlier today, we had mass nap time, um, an event I like to call Cuddle Puddle, because they'll cuddle together. Um, I've got managed to get stuff done and clean. There's Claudette climbing, as Claudette does. She'll be joining Lottie and Edson soon, we hope. And then we've got the Littles. You've got Terry in the back coming towards us. I'm having a scratch, and you've got Claudette Marie just chilling. It's a nice day in nursery. Everybody's just had a big drink, so now it's playtime. And Claudette Marie's off. That camera shake there was courtesy of Little Miss Terry. Go on, Claudette, a bit higher. Oh. Lighting change was also Terry. Okay, so this week's update in Disneyland. Uh, Connie, what's the latest? Uh, all the babies are doing really, really well. Had some good progression this week. So you can see our littlest Zeb getting very good at his play face. 
he's drinking from the pet egg bottle now and he's drinking really good amounts at a time so we're gonna start with his feeding cage training get him ready for meeting a mum he's playing at the minute with Terry Terry is perfect angel wonderful Terry she drinks from the feeding cage wonderfully and her and Sadie have been doing visits to Coco Troop where they're starting to get to know the troop a bit through the fence and should be meeting mums pretty soon down there um, we have on top of the feeding cage here, Minimax. Minimax, our longest Disneyland resident at the minute. He's still got some weakness in that leg that he had had surgery on, so he has been having some exercises to help get the strength back and get him ready. Otherwise, he's wonderful, drinks perfectly, doing really, really well. Great, so it won't be long before all these guys move to foster yeah. mums. And how about Cosimo and uh, Haim? So Cosy and Haim have moved to the Scrow intro cage just behind us. They're next to where Finley and Jons currently are with mums. Um, both of them have met Scrow before with Finley and Jons, so they're progressing really quickly in there. The mums are super interested, really happy to have them back there. So we're checking how they do with the feeding cage and then it should be their time really, really soon, which is very exciting. Wonderful, getting some of these in mums. So how many is it now that we've got with mums? Over half, we've got 21 babies, and we've got how many left in the term? Four, five, seven. And then Yolanda. And Yolanda, eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, we're making a lot of progress with the babies. Not at bad, the not bad. Thank you very much. Okay, Michaela, who have you got there? I've got Momo here. Um, I'm just going to walk around with him a bit just so that he feels loved, has a bit of a cuddle, and feels safe. Oh, perfect. Yeah, because he's just he spends a bit of time by himself, doesn't he? A bit yeah. too much sometimes. So. He's a bit of a loner, yeah. <laughs> That's great. So there he is getting a little cuddle. And Michaela's still coming in on our holidays to help out, which is fantastic. <laughs> and then going to bring him back with the others there. And just so there we've got Sadie. Friends. Yeah, there's Sadie. Little update on our babies at Skunky. We've got Cappy here. Uh, we've got a bit of fresh going on with them at the moment, but very exciting. Roddy over here just turned three months old, which makes all of them old enough to be released into the troop. So after the fresh is cleared up all healthy they are ready to go out to the big world here's daisy may they are all so big and fluffy and adorable uh where's geo geo here just climbing in the front daisy may and roddy so they're still doing super well with the mums. Only I saw a banded male coming close to them and they turned absolutely crazy and <laughs> protective, chasing him away. Daisy A, the only girl. So we want them to be three months old so that they're more independent from the mums, that they walk around longer distances on their own and that we can be sure that they will go into the feeding cages and still get their milk. These guys are absolutely crazy about milk, so I'm not too concerned about them not finding it. They will make sure they will find it, I think. Normally we have four bottle, uh, one bottle for each baby uh, to drink. With them we have five because they drink so much. Even with the fresh, it's great. Kapi definitely the most interested in people still. And Gio. Up 
update on our babies at Scrub. Got a little Finley. Curious little boy. And then Jan's here with Kate. They are still very happy. <laughs> Finley just being playful. Curious as usual. And Buffy here. Enjoying her life. <laughs> Older and to bond, and then it will be a very exciting day when they go out. The troop will absolutely love them. I think they're going to be the most spoiled babies ever. <laughs> and just here, there's some preparations going on uh, in the other entry cage because they are going to get some more babies. So currently the plan is for Cosimo and Heim to move in here. Luckily with Scro we have a troop that is full of good foster moms. Um, they love them very much. So Polar for example could still take one. Here's Riley. Polar fostered him, kind of. He was a bit older, an expat. Over here we've got Goon and Paco. Oh, Buffy holding Finley. Okay, it's still with yawns. Little update on Edson on the left, Claudette Marie, Lottie and Mrs. Gold. So same old, same old here. Um, and follow mum and Lottie, and well Lottie is just always on mum's belly. Living her best life. They're quite peaceful here. It will be interesting to see when they go out. Claudette will be probably be quite a difficult one, but with all the mums coming then and wanting to love them, I'm sure she will find someone else to cling to than poor Edson. Date on Oswald here at Coco, so he is still here with Luca. He should also soon be three months old and ready to release. We've got some friends already waiting for him here. So with him I'm always depressed because when I saw him last time he was so skinny and dehydrated. Now he's such a chun chunky little boy. Ready to go into the big big world. And then on the other side, we still have to finish up the intro cage, but we've already got some babies here. <laughs> Motti making some music for Terry, and then we've got Sadie, Zadie up there. So good. Hmm. <laughs> Giovanni is climbing around. Let's 
Finley and Yons. Yons on the right being carried by Kate and then there's Buffy with Yons just there. Still doing very well in the square intra cage and then next door we've just moved Cosimo and Heim who've been spending yesterday there ready to meet foster mums. Here's Cosimo on the left and then Heim. So Heim is currently clinging to Cosimo. In the scrow introduction cage. Marty coming to rescue them. Just like their mum would in case they fall. Well, things are going very well down in uh, the D&D &D enclosure and uh, Phyllis is the main uh, foster mum. She's the kind of mum uh, that every kid would really love to have. She's nice and chunky. Um, she's got a, a lot of space to hold on to so when you get hugs from uh, Felice you really know you're being hugged. Um, she is a very high ranking female um, so she is uh, looked upon quite well throughout the troop. She's a fantastic foster mom. Uh, she knows how to look after children and put them in her place. And of course, uh, she doesn't take uh, trouble from every, anybody else in the troop. So I think these little ones are, are fairly lucky that uh, they've managed to get her and that she's the one that's come in to, uh, to look after them. Um, we have here, of course, Linda, Giovanni and, and Maggie. And uh, they are getting on very, very well in this enclosure. They are uh, very, very well adjusted, so it shouldn't take too long for mom to, to take them out. Um, the other foster mom, of course, that's uh, going to be joining them is Hazel. And um, Hazel's also uh, a very, very good uh, experienced foster mom. She's not quite as high ranking uh, as Felice, but she's actually. Uh, did bring up uh, Barney and Fiona. Fiona is the one you might remember that's running around with, with no arms and doing very, very well in the enclosure. But uh, all of them have had uh, very, very good experience looking after, after little orphans.
that looks like a little Giovanni. I don't know what he's actually found there. It could be a little piece of uh, beetroot, but uh, really does seem like uh, he's enjoying nibbling on it and uh, very happy and content in his uh, little environment there, probably staring up at the moms. And uh, so his whole new life has, uh, has just basically begun. And uh, soon he'll be outside with, uh, with the mom and running around uh, as free as a little monkey can be in this place. Well, there we have all three of them again, uh, just playing around together and interacting. So, uh, yeah, very, very nice. And just have a look at the moms. It's quite amazing to think that uh, Felice, she uh, was born in about 2010, and uh, she was found tied to uh, to a tree. She was looked after for humans for uh, by humans for about four months uh, before she was actually brought uh, brought to the foundation. Um, she was basically really hand reared most of the time, so she's got a very nice personality. She is kind of humanized, so she's one of those monkeys that will come over and say hello to everyone, but you, you do have to be careful because she's quick to grab things and stuff like that. So you have to be very, very careful of her, but a very, very loving monkey. And as you can see, she does, uh, she does like the little ones. She knows how to look after them. Um, she doesn't sort of just take over or anything like that. She does give them their space, um, but she'll be very, very protective uh, with them in the long run. So Hazel also came in uh, around 2010. Uh, her mom was shot by a farmer, and she was still she was actually found clinging to the dead body. Um, so she also had a little bit of a traumatic upbringing from the early stages. But as you can see, she's done very very well. Uh, she's a well-adjusted uh, female at the moment, and uh, she also uh, loves the little ones and. Uh, yeah, so it's another very, very good mom, also a little bit of a chunky female, so uh, a nice one to hug them and look after them and protect them, which is great. As I said earlier, she doesn't have quite the same ranking as Felice, but uh, she will look after them, after them very well. And you can see at the fence there all the other monkeys quite eager um, to meet these little guys. They probably all can't wait for them to come out and, and get a chance to play with them. Uh, D&D is quite a good enclosure. Uh, the monkeys are quite nice they were low, quite a dangerous enclosure because a lot of them uh, were brought up with humans for a very long time um, so they can be a little bit threatening and we do have to be very careful of them but uh, of their own kind they really uh, really love little new monkeys and, and enjoy having uh, new charges coming in every now and again Morning, Giovanni. And there's Linda on the ground, and Maggie's in there somewhere. But today we're going down to checks, so it means that these babies are all settled, they're all happy, and the volunteers just need to check them throughout the day. So, on milk shift, for example, then we come around, we check that they're drinking milk, check that everything's okay, and then get back to other duties. So. It's less resources for us now that mums are doing the work. We just need to provide the milk. So wonderful to see all of these so happy with Felice there. And Hazel just gone away. There's Giovanni. Maggie. <laughs> just sat in front of Felice. And <laughs> Linda's so happy as well, jumping up and down there. Uh oh, 
Uh-oh. Here we have Uh-O and Charlotte uh, grooming Ricky. So she does use the left hand a little bit to push the hair aside, but she doesn't grab anything with it. Grooming, uh oh. We had Gizmo with Charlotte. We've got Mila lying down, being groomed by uh oh right now. Charlotte is very comfortable with her after getting a few grooms. But right now, too busy eating to join the grooming. If you all remember, Charlotte was that uh, little one-year-old that came in in uh, July of 2021. Um, she was found in somebody's garden, semi-conscious. Uh, she was shot in the head with a pellet gun, suffered a fractured skull, had very bad uh, concussion and swelling. And uh, so it has taken a while to get her introduced. We had to wait for all of that to come right. But as you can see, she's doing so well now. Uh, getting on with these other monkeys, um, very, very big difference in her and uh, of course soon she'll be out in the enclosure and uh, be a free little monkey again. Why is she twitching? Cosimo, tomorrow is his big day of meeting moms. Mm -hmm. So right now he's just temporarily in Disneyland while they're fixing up the shade mate and the uh, intro cage over there. But he'll go to scroll. Are you excited, Cozy? <laughs> and then we've got Sabli Se Sabulon, <laughs> Optimus Chief. Momo sitting here, going to play with Cosimo. Terry on the left, left Mini Max and Momo. And Seb. Cosimo and Sadie.
been four weeks now, roughly, since Yolanda arrived, more than a month. And she's now got her sling off. Um, and we're doing some mobility exercises, just very gentle ones on the wrist and the hand. Just some movement exercises so that it doesn't go too stiff. We can't do much at the moment, but she is going back for a checkup this week at the vets to see how we can help that shoulder more. She does have some grip in her right hand now, but you can see she's still got the wrist drop and the arm isn't functional yet. She enjoys the red berries and grass still, so she's in one of the cabins for now. Um, she does get some daylight. We try and get her 20 minutes a day. But it's just, she can't be with the other babies still because if they do pull that shoulder or arm, um, then it can easily become a problem again. So unfortunately, she has to stay with us, but um, she's quite a happy little girl for now, isn't she? Well, that brings us to the end of this uh, episode. So thank you everybody for uh, watching and participating for those continually do donating via PayPal. Uh, some of you may have had a, a message just informing you that our PayPal account has changed. Uh, we're now using a PayPal account in the USA where we can uh, get things tax, tax deducted, uh, which is a lot better for us, especially after the UK closed our account down without any notice. So please take note of that. Um, and thank you for those that are doing monthly donations. It really, really helps quite a lot. Our members in Patreon is climbing slowly. Uh, even our memberships on YouTube. Thank you for ser uh, sharing and participating, um, getting people to join our Instagram and Facebook account. Uh, all of these things are helping us tremendously. It gives us the, the support we need and the encouragement. For those of you who pop in on the live and, and chat and just find out things, that's fantastic. Thank you for doing that. We love the questions and we love giving the answers where we can. Um, it has been a very tough period this, this time. As you can see, there's a lot of little orphans coming in. Uh, we've also got a very short period of three months that we have to get these little guys foster moms. Uh, and while we take into consideration each little personality of each little one that we get in, they are completely different for each other from each other. Uh, we can't rush everyone's uh, uh, rehabilitation. We have to take the time that they need and make sure they heal properly just to ensure they have the best life afterwards um, in the best circumstances that they can. So thank you everyone for being there, supporting us. See you next week.